At our September Camera Club meeting, we mentioned how uh, lynda.com, all of the free training for photography at lynda.com and the other courses, were available for free through the Ottawa Public Library website. Um, we didn't have a chance to explain how to do that, and that's what I'm going to show you now, I hope. Um, the first thing to do is to go to the Ottawa Public Library website. So I don't know their address. I'm going to search for it. And Google says we can go here. We have to have an account at the Ottawa Public Library. If you don't, contact the library. Go to one of the help desks. They'll set you up with an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in up here in the upper right-hand corner with my Ottawa Public Library username and my PIN. And I'm going to click on Log In. And you notice now again here in the upper right, I'm logged in as me. Uh, on the front page, the home page of the library, there's a section called Learning. That's where the Linda stuff is, is located. So we're going to click on the Learning link. Go to the Learning page. And you'll see there are many things here that we can access for free. We're going to go into Linda by clicking on this link. Now the first time you come to Linda, you have to create a new account create a profile. I'm sorry, they call it a profile. So I'm going to click on this and show you what it looks like. We're not actually going to do this because I already have an account, but you put in your name, your email address, some arbitrary username that you pick, and, and a couple passwords. Uh, as I said, I already have an account. So there's my username, and I'm going to put in my password and log into Linda. And when we get here, so this is the Linda front page. Um, well, what's important here? Here are some of the categories in the middle of courses that are available. Lots and lots of stuff. Uh, in the in, refined by new courses, popular courses, and recommended courses. So right now we're looking at all of the new courses. I can narrow it down to the new photography courses by clicking on this. And we can see down here the new photography courses. So we can talk about Dropbox, using Dropbox for photographers. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to look at recommended courses. Oh, let's look at popular courses. Because um, I saw a couple the last time I was here that I thought would be of interest to just about everybody. And of course they're not going to surface now. Okay. How about recommended photography courses? You can see what's in here, Photoshop Elements training, training on particular cameras, training on different versions of Photoshop Elements. Um, and up at the top, there's a general search category, so you can search for, again, let's say Photoshop Elements, Photoshop Elements. And here are all of the courses where Photoshop Elements is listed. Oh, I must have mistyped that. I did, didn't I? And again, we've got 24 courses. So Photoshop Elements 14 training, 13 training, using Lightroom and Photoshop. Just it goes on and on. All of this stuff is available for free. Um, what else can I show you? I'll show you what a course looks like. Here are, here are two courses here uh, that I've looked at. Uh, landscaping, Landscape Photography Autumn. I mean, something that's going to be of interest to all of us in just a little while. Um, the course has sections. You can see down the left-hand side here all the various sections. Um, I've already looked at the first section, so it remembers that and starts me, I think, in the second section. No, it's back to the, it's gone back to the welcome. But you can see from the eyeball that I've already looked at this section as well. Sadly, you can't hear the sound because the tool that I'm using to record my screen doesn't record the sound coming out of the computer. 
Um, that's it. That's just a really quick overview of Linda, how easy it is to get to it through the Ottawa Public Library, all of the wonderful things that are available there, and the fact that it's all free. When you're done, of course, you want to log out. Thank you.